Happy Sunday, St. Paul's, and welcome to this week's Sunday School. Now, we are going to do two special things today. We're going to hear our story, and we're going to watch our video. Now, our story today is about healing in the synagogue. And Jesus establishes himself both as a teacher and a healer pretty early in his ministry. And his authority is being established. His reputation is spreading, and his power is really on display. And the crowds, they're astonished. And Jesus speaks, ama and amazing things happen. Now, our story is about unclean spirits. And these unclean spirits, they're vanquished. And people are healed, and the crowds learn about how God, how amazing God is. And all of his life-giving love. Now, this is why Jesus heals people. And that's the real power. So today, in our other text, in church, they also insist on God's power and authority. Now, Moses assures the people that through various prophets, God will continue to guide them. Paul's letter to the Corinthians teaches about the clean and unclean distinction, a concept that ruled the lives of Jewish people in Jesus's time. He announces that there is freedom in Christ, except when our actions might contribute to another being led astray. So I want you to find a comfy spot, settle in, and we're going to hear our story first before we watch our video. So it says, Jesus commands an unclean spirit. It was worship day in Capernaum. Jesus entered the synagogue and began to teach. Everyone in the crowd listened. Jesus is not like any other teacher we know, they said. A man who was filled with darkness and an unclean spirit began to yell at Jesus. I know who you are, Jesus. What are you doing here? Have you come to destroy us? The crowd gasped. No one ever yelled in the synagogue. One by one, every head turned and looked at Jesus to see what he would do. Be silent, Jesus ordered. He commanded the spirit to come out of the man. One by one, every head turned and looked at the man. Then with a shake and a shout, the spirit came out. The man was set free. The people were amazed. Hooray, they shouted. They couldn't stop talking about what Jesus had done. Did you see the man? Did you hear Jesus? Even unclean spirits obey Jesus. News of what happened in the synagogue spread all over town. Soon everyone knew about Jesus. Now settle in and I'll see you after your video. Bye. Way past my bedtime, Clara. Otto, the human body needs sleep to live. I didn't mean to. I only meant to stay up a little past my bedtime. But then at the stroke of 10, I discovered that the world is a dark and awful place. Really? How? I watched the 10 o'clock news. But what sort of news could happen so late at night? Terrifying news. Ah! I couldn't sleep all night. Haunted by the images on that screen. The severity of the storm winds caused extensive damage. Police are still investigating what could have led to such a terrible tragedy. The got no closer to containing the massive spill. <laughs> it was delicious. There wasn't a single human interest story or a fluff piece about the county fair? The least scary part was a story about collapsing bee colonies. He's making it up. He's got to be making it up. I wish I was. You can see for yourself. Every night at 10. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
Every time I shut my eyes, all I can see is horrible things. There's a hurricane in the Gulf, forest fires in the South, a crime wave in the East, and a baseball strike in the West. And they're all headed this way. Hey, guys. You guys all right? We watched the 10 o'clock news. Oh, my. I take it you haven't been getting much sleep, then? It's hard to sleep when the whole world is falling apart. You guys need to understand something. News on television doesn't really show that much good news. That's why we go to church. To hide from all the bad news? To learn about the good news of Jesus. That yes, there is evil in the world, but God has power over evil and works through us to bring good into the world. But what can we do? You could help Monty and Jax. Monty and Jax? What are they doing? They volunteered to help me clean up the polluted duck pond. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is one clean duck. It probably won't make the 10 o'clock news, but they are helping to bring good into the world. Something to think about. Well, we should go help them. Yeah. Do you think we could take a nap first? Hi St. Paul's, I hope you enjoyed your video today and I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday and I will see you next week. Bye!